We have an NHL trade to discuss between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Los Angeles Kings. We'll jump into all the details coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. Now we have a trade to talk about. It's not a huge trade by any means, but it could be a significant deal for both teams accomplishing different things here. Now, the Los Angeles Kings have acquired defenseman Ali Mata from the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for prospect Brad Morrison. Now, Morrison is a player who's 23 years old. Prospect played in the East Coast League last year. So he'll be a guy who goes into the Hawks system. We'll see if he develops into much of anything for the, uh, the Hawks. I'm not sure if he'll really project to be an NHL player, but either way, it takes a contract back because somebody in their system, whereas they move out all in mana, and they did retain as well 750k salary on the rest of his deal per year. So that saves the Hawks about $3.3 million per season. Now, we've talked about Mata before in Chicago. I thought he was a pretty solid player for them in the return to play through the playoff rounds, especially against the Edmonton Oilers. I thought he had a, a really solid showing, which was going to boost his value. Uh, I know I kind of talked about whether or not they should move him because he was a player that was already being discussed as a potential trade or buyout candidate uh, before the NHL even returned as a way for the Hawks to kind of make some uh, additional cap space because they have some significant players in terms of Kubelik and Strom, etc. that need new deals. They don't have a ton of space. They're going to figure out their goaltending for next year. Uh, so, you know, it makes a lot of sense that he could move on. And the Hawks have a lot of young prospect defensemen who can take that roll and take on more minutes. I mean, you've got Adam Boakfist, you've got Mitchell. Uh, you know, they, they need more time back there to be able to develop fully into, a, you know, bigger roles into the future. So certainly makes sense from their perspective. From the uh, LA Kings perspective, it makes a lot of sense as well. Outside of Drew Doughty, they don't have a ton of experience back there. They do have some capable defenders, but obviously some flexibility there. Uh, they're talking about maybe re-signing Ben Hutton. He had a decent year there in LA last year. So we'll see what they do in that front. But I've seen reports that they are having discussions. So it adds a little bit more experience. Another guy who can be a puck mover, good skater back there. Uh, Mana has shoulder surgery a few years back. Certainly struggled to recover. But like I said, I think he looked better in his return to play than I've seen him in a couple of years. So if he can keep that up, this could be a pretty solid acquisition for LA. It's basically a way for the Hawks to dump some salary. The Kings get themselves a, a decent a player on the, on the blue line. Kind of works for both sides. So I think we'll see some more deals of this type of thing happening here as we lead up to the deadline to qualify restricted free agents as well as heading into the draft and free agency we're only a couple days away from the draft now so we're bound to see a lot more uh, trades that will involve more draft picks here in the next few days very very likely so let me know your thoughts on a trade down in the comments and we'll discuss further if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'd appreciate it if you did as always thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time.